Hello and welcome. I am Suntai Dimitri Guy, and this is the number five review, the fifth review of the Makla playlist. And you're sitting out there right now going, but is that Makla? And I am going to go and say it is. Uh, the popular consensus online is that this product is India's, or more specifically, six photos answer to really good Makla sales by other companies in Europe. And you're saying, why would that matter? Because this is registered as a chewing tobacco, as Makla is. And it is orally used, this is true, uh, but where that comes into being important in as far as let's say the European Union is concerned is because the European Union has a ban on snus. This is why, although Makla is sort of a very close cousin to snus, it is put forth and registered as a chewing tobacco because in the EU, chewing tobacco is legal. This is why you see portion snus bags coming out of Denmark, probably still now, but definitely in the last couple of years, coming out and being marketed as chew bags. Yeah, they're sort of sliding in around the side there. Anyway, so this is Fire and Ice. This product does have a following. Uh, it has a hardcore following in some areas, usually overseas from America. Uh, this is a 50 gram tin, all right? So it's a little bit bigger than a dip can. I will be using this in the lower lip, all right? A couple of reasons for that. And I say that because traditionally it would be used up top. I'm uncomfortable with that. Um, I like it in the lower lip, and a lot of, a, a great majority of my subscribers are going to be using their oral tobacco products in the lower, okay? So we're sort of seeing how this rates up against our usual products. So I am going to use it in the same way, although I am going to use Prillis Maker to put it in because I am expecting a fine cut. Anyway, we're going to take it to the desk and look at the very simple, straightforward packaging. Back in a moment. Not the stop button, my God. Okay, so here we are. So what you have here is basically a screw down lid. You can see the threading there. It is got a grip edge on it, which is nice. Uh, it is basically sort of a large nasal snuff can for all intents and purposes. You have the warning down the bottom. It is 50 grams. To pair that against a can of dip, a can of dip, a, a standard size can of dip, which is 1.2 ounces, that comes out to 34.02 grams. So there's more product. For size comparison, that's what you're looking at. It's a little bit of a bigger can. Moisture level is going to be up there, I believe, on the product. So that will be adding to the weight a little bit. On the back, now obviously, six photo snuff is coming out of India. On the back, you have their information. I have actually just been to their website today, which is pretty nice. It is uh, six photo dot com uh now the one i was at did not have the i n for india at the end so uh, i'm not quite sure if it was a european site or one made for the british market but okay so with that we will open this up carefully we will let me we will carefully open this up because I have no idea what's in here. Whoa. Okay, that's what's in there. Well, that looks absolutely scary. Oh, God. What have I done? 
Okay, so um, that's <laughs> oh my god, what what is going on? That is uh, very macula like. Moisture is ridiculously high. I can't even get it off the tweezers. It's got a greenish hue to it. It's got some other bits in there that I'm not even quite like this thing over here. I can't get this off the tweezers. Okay, so then we got this thing. We got a small spear that we'll just file over there. I know I don't want to do this, but I'm going to smell this now. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. Um, oh, God. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. It's clumpy. It sticks together. It's sort of like the other products on this playlist. The playlist will be popping up at the end of this, only it's much more unsettling to the eye with the coloring which is pretty darn close to what I'm saying in person. And really, that's all I want to do, dwelling upon that. We will take this back up top. The smell is barnyard with menthol. It's sort of a menthol-y barnyard. Back up top we go. Well, this is going to be an absolute shit show. That's what this is going to be. And we're back. Are we back? We're back. We're back. <clears throat> so I do have a spittoon sitting right here. I will be using that too. If anybody says, oh, you don't have to spit with. No, I've, I've smelled and actually seen this in first person. And I will not be ingesting anything, any byproduct that comes off of this product. So as I said, oh boy. You know, there's a lot of decisions in life that have led me to this point. And sometimes in times like this, I sort of run over what they may be and what corresponds with what, when, and how, and why. Wow. Okay. So I'm pressing this down in. And now, oh, it didn't. I don't know if I need it completely packed. It's supposedly high nicotine. Okay, it's got a menthol feel, mouth feel. It's got a lot of nicotine. I'm telling you that right now off the bat. It's got a lot of nicotine. Holy crap. Okay, so you have a menthol cooling sensation going. I can feel this in my arms already. My God, what have I done? Um, there goes the stopwatch. It's got a menthol cooling sensation. So that's the ice part but it's got a fiery burn going as well. And that's the fire part, I suppose. So Ice of Fire is a suiting name. In all fairness, as absolutely horrific as the smell is, and believe me, it is horrific, it doesn't taste bad. Uh, in fact, I've never smelled something that bad doing these reviews where the flavor went the other end of the spectrum. And really, this is not bad at all. It's actually sort of good. I'm a little uncomfortable with the um, nicotine level. Uh, there is a lot of freaking nicotine. And this Perlis Maker that I have, I don't know if you can... It's not one of the little tubular ones. Like, I probably have 
way more than I need. I probably have at least double the amount that you need with this. Man, it's strong though. Uh, it's not like, wouldn't go as far to say it's like Siberian snoo strong, but it is, it is well up there. Uh, it's stronger than the, the Silverback line, which is basically the only other products on this playlist. Yeah, I, I can feel like, I can feel it in my arms. Not so much my hand. The worst things I've ever done, my hands have started tickling. So it's not quite that bad. The, I'm really surprised about the flavor. I'm really, I mean, pleasantly surprised, trust me, because I was waiting for this to go sideways on me bad. Um, it smells freaking awful. It smells how it looks, basically. I mean, visually, it, it it's scary. Um... Smell wise, it may be scarier, but then you get it in, the flavor is, it's good. I, I don't know what else to say. It's not, it, it, it's not exactly mint. It is menthol. Uh, there may be some camphor in there. And there's some tobacco in the back. The cooling sensation definitely helps with the burn because if it didn't have that menthol aspect, the burn on this would maybe be like to the point of uncomfortable. I don't know. Uh, you know, it's you get 50 grams. I think uh, the can cost me. Now, this came in as part of an order from Mr. Snuff. So you got to put an order together because you're paying like 12 bucks now for shipping from the Isle Man in the IRC. But that said, the can itself, it's been going on sale and off of sale. So let's say a medium price is like $4, something like that. A lot of nicotine. Holy crap. Um, all in all, I mean, if you were ordering from Mr. Snuff anyway, and you dip, you might want to give this a try. I mean, you got to look past the visual aspect in the can, and you got to definitely look past the smell. But if you have a fairly good nicotine tolerance, flavor-wise, it's all right. It's all right. I mean, as far as nicotine goes, you can always use less. Like what I just did, I feel like I probably have way more than I need. I, from a nicotine standpoint, definitely have more than I need. Uh, and it's still a lot less than debt. But anywhere in the mouth where the byproduct goes, starts you start getting like a, a, a tingling burn sensation like if it touches the tip of your tongue it's strong but it, it's okay i i thought this was going to be like me going oh my god why did i do that? but no it, it it is not bad so this has been my review of six photo out of india's fire and ice i see why there is a little bit of buzz going on in certain circles about the product and it has been going on it's been going on for at least a year now, maybe more. I am the Soon Tie Dip and Shoe Guy. I do hope you all are well. As always, do take care of yourselves and God bless.